Hey guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you are new here, then all these products that I'm using today for this look are finds that I've gotten from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, unless otherwise stated. We gotta be professional over here. For the majority of the products, I think just about everything I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, some high-end goodness. So I don't have much to say. Let's just get on into this makeup look so you guys can see how we got this face today. Don't mind some of the scars that I have going on, especially like these right here. I just got off, you know, a time of the month and my skin freaked out this time. I did a good thing and I put everything in like a little container today. We got easy pickings here and then I'm also going to be using my Kat Von D mirror. For primer, I'm going to go in with the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. This is in the number one nude radiant. So this is the lighter one. I think there's two versions of this. I don't really know how much I need. I'm not using like my fingers. That should be good. Yeah, just like a dab. I'm just going in with a BH Cosmetics brush. I think you can find these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I'm not sure. Ooh, this has like a little a couple crusties. Oh, I'm gonna need more. See, yeah, it had like chunks from the nozzle. So hang on. Let's just do like Instagram people and just like put it on our face. I think this is gonna be too much now, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics brush and just blend this in over a wire. Ooh. It's kind of glittery, which I like because it's going to give me a nice glowy base. Very nice. I love how this feels on the skin. Honestly, it's like cooling. For a foundation, I wanted to try out this Lorac, their natural performance foundation. It says it's oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, but this is in the color NP4, which is, it just says medium. And I honestly, just looking at it in the packaging, I think it's gonna be way, way, way too light. Just in case it is too light, I grabbed also another one that I got from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. This one is in the color 82 Cocoa Light. So obviously you can kind of tell it's gonna give us a little bit darker color in case this one's too light. I've never even like seen what this color really looks like. So I guess here we go. Oh. Yeah, this is like super light. So we're definitely gonna have to mix this because that's like a, fa not foundation, a concealer color. This might need to be used as a concealer because this is gonna be way, way, way too light. And for some reason, I don't know if maybe I haven't seen a darker color of that, but I just, that's the only one that I have. So I'm gonna mix in the Marc Jacobs also. Um, just obviously so we can get a darker color here. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma brush. This is just a flat Kabuki brush. It's the F80. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this around on my hand oh okay oh it feels so nice going on coverage isn't too crazy i feel like i'm gonna have to go over it again like i should have used more yeah that barely got me like anywhere <laughs> and the coverage is not the like highest Coverage. The Lorac though one looks way thicker as I think you guys could tell than the Marc Jacobs one. It's like more runny. Okay, this one I didn't do as good of a job as of mixing. That's why it's lighter. Now I have too much. I feel like none of these are really the best, like the highest coverage foundations, but together I like how they're feeling on the skin. I already love the Marc Jacobs ones. I knew that. The Lorac I think it's gonna be better using it as concealer, but I looked crazy, but I had a feeling that it was gonna be too light, so I got like a handful of bronzers. I'm gonna bronze up my face. Hopefully, we can bring some color back to my face. Oh, do we see that? Like, look at my face compared to my neck. I feel like then we should just go in with this as concealer then, so I'm gonna put a teeny bit more. I feel like I don't really need too much, so my skin's already too light. I'm just gonna go in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. You find these sometimes, or I think you can usually find these at TJ Maxx and Marshall, so. Cheating, but you can find them there. Yeah, this does not have like the highest coverage. It's pretty thin of a formula for the Lorac foundation. You guys know, if you've seen my other videos, usually when I add my concealer, that's when I go over all of my foundation and blend it out so there's no streak. This dot right here is still really showing through the foundation, which is unfortunate. I feel like it's not going to get covered up today, but that's okay. And ooh, this freckle is just on 
display. So to bake under my eyes, I don't have a powder yet from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm on the hunt for the Kat Von D ones, but I just haven't found them yet. So for now, I'm just gonna go in with my all-time fave. This is just the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. So I'm gonna go in again, make sure there's no creasing. This is actually creasing up pretty bad under my eye with this foundation as a concealer. I use a tried and true cream concealer. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Kit. This one is in deep. I'm gonna go in again with another BH Cosmetics brush. I think I'm gonna go in with this one up top, which I think is in the color cinnamon. And I'm just gonna put this in the normal areas that I would be contouring, bronzing up. Oh, this is really orange. But I'm gonna go in with a darker color on top. Why does it look so orange to me? A little bit there. Let's put some on my nose. I'm gonna go in again with the Beauty Blender and just blend this in. I feel like I look like a clown right now. I'm really not liking how pale I look. I wanna go in with a darker color, but let me see which color I think is gonna be okay to use. I don't wanna go too crazy dark. This one that I'm pretty sure is the chocolate. And I'm kind of gonna cover up the same areas that I just did except for under my chin. I don't like putting too much of a dark color underneath my chin. I don't want it to look like I'm growing a beard. So I'm just gonna mainly focus this on the top of my cheekbones. So I'm not gonna come in as far in my face. And then obviously back on my forehead. Lightly down my nose. I'm kind of gonna go a little bit higher too. Cool. I look so pale. All right, and then we'll just blend this out also. And I kind of blend this like upwards all along the edge of my face, you know? And then blend out my nose. I had a different powder that I was gonna use to set it, but I just don't wanna like lighten my skin up anymore. So I'm gonna go in with um, a powder that I use on a normal basis. It's not from TJ Maxx Marshall, so I'm cheating, but I'm trying to fix the color of my skin right now to get it back to my normal color. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in 30 medium deep. I'm just using a flat headed brush. This one is actually from e.l.f. This is just their powder brush. So I really like this because you can just pack powder on, I've mentioned it before, nothing's changed, so I should have this all over my ear. I'm just going to set my face. I even cover up my cream contour because I'm gonna go back over that. I just like to layer it up, especially since I'm filming today. I just think it helps it look, like stand out more, and it also makes it last longer. So that's why I like to do cream contour and then a powder contour. I like to put it um, on my eyebrows also so that my eyebrows don't look too shiny, but hopefully, the product that I'm gonna to use today will keep them from looking shiny. I'm trying to kind of get on my neck too to like blend everything together so it don't look so crazy. Then you guys know how this usually goes. I usually go back on top of my bake under my eyes. So I'm going back with the Ben Nye powder and I'm just gonna add this back to underneath my eyes and down to like bright, keep this area bright. Whoa, I need to go like right there. All right, so now powder contour. I have two that I think are gonna help bring my face back to life. The first one is the Lorac Tantalizer. This is the highlighter and matte bronzer duo. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter color first and I'm just gonna go in with a really fluffy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I've never used this color yet, so let's kind of see how this goes. I'm just gonna kind of pack it on a little bit first and then blend it out. Okay, this is nice. It's not like too dark. This is perfect. <laughs> kind of scared. And I'm just gonna do, you know, the three. I also am gonna kind of bring it down my neck slightly. And then I just go in with the same brush for the lighter color down my nose as well, just because, I don't know. I just think it's easier. I'm usually not too precise with this first color with like the lighter contour color on my nose. I just like it to look a little bit more natural and not so like put in place, if that makes sense. I really like this color. I think it's perfection. To really heighten up and kick up the contour, I'm gonna go in with this Stila contour color. This is the Stay All Day Contouring Bronzer for Face and Body. This is in the color Dark. 
So this is just the one that's like the huge tray. So this is a little bit darker of a color, obviously. I think for this, I'm actually gonna go in with this little Lorac brush that I got with one of the Lorac palettes. So I'm gonna focus this more in like the cheekbone, like the high point of my cheekbone. And then just kind of blend it a little downwards, but I focus it right there. And then blend it upwards just a little bit, whatever is left on the brush. Again, I bring this down slightly, but it's just whatever is left over on the brush. These look really nice together, so I'm not mad at these. So again, I'm focusing it more on the top right here. And this is a little bit of a smaller brush, so I'm just gonna use this also for my nose. I don't get too crazy about my no nose contour. I bring this down my nose slightly with a really light hand, and I'm bringing it into like the crease of like my eye right here. My hair is getting crazy. Oh my gosh, I have color back on my face now. I'm gonna take my banana powder again. I'm gonna go underneath my contour just to help it stay looking sharp, you know? So I kind of try to make sure they're even. I finally got some products from TJ Maxx and Marshalls to try out my eyebrows. I'm really nervous because I usually stick with what I know works for my eyebrows and that's all I ever use. Today I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow and Shaping Kit. This is in the medium dark. This one's cool though. This is one of those kits, you know, that gives you like the wax and then you have the powders to go over it. Looking at it now, these look way more like taupey gray than brown on camera. But this little kit is really cute. Well, dropping everything out of it. So it comes with a mirror on the inside and then obviously you get the little baby brush to do everything with but then you also get a pair of little baby tweezers so i think this kit's really really cute i think this is only like three dollars or something it was like super affordable i'm gonna go in first with just the little gel i guess and i'm just gonna make a line i really don't know what i'm doing right now am i supposed to like put this where I want the color to be? Or are you supposed to dip into the color? Okay, so I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna dip into this darker color. <gasps> I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. It just mixed really nasty. Ew. But okay, so I'm gonna go on the bottom and just do my eyebrows. Oh my God, ew. Do my brows like I normally would. And I've already done a, um, a tutorial on how I do my brows before, so if you're interested, I already have a video of that. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I got little pieces. <gasps> okay, it's not on my face. I feel like I have to focus so hard right now. Okay, and then usually I keep lighter colors on the outer, or darker colors on the outer part of my brows, and then I'm gonna dip into the lighter colors for the front parts of my brows in just a second. Ooh, I was really nervous. I was really holding my breath, in case you couldn't tell. I wanna like blow on this, to like make sure there's no little pieces of the shadow. I can't blow myself, you know? It sounds so stupid. <laughs> ah! Okay, it looks super dark, but I'm not really mad at it. It's like you're almost making like a dip brow, you know? I just for some reason feel like it's way easier to mess this up. Yeah, cause like right there. I'm gonna use the brush that I usually use for my brows and just try to blend this a little bit better. Cause it just keeps adding more product. I feel like I've definitely had better brow days in the past, but I'm actually not mad at it. I just feel like it took a long time to use. I wish it didn't have a completely clear gel. I wish the gel had a little bit of a tint to it so that you didn't have to mix it with the darker color first, if that makes any sense, but I'm not mad at it. They literally look, it looks the same color as my hair. I don't like that it took so much extra time, but I'm just also not really used to using that type of product. Bye bye bake, you know how it go. I'm just using, I think this is an e.l.f. brush. Yeah, this is just an e.l.f. brush, so I'm just gonna wipe away all of the bake off my face. Everything is sitting together really nicely. Like, everything is blending together. Lately, I've been adding highlighter before my blush. This Lorac tantalizer that I use as my bronzer also has a highlighter color in here. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush that I usually use for my highlight and see what this looks like. It's really powdery, so. It's nice, it's very natural looking. So if you're into more of like a natural highlight, I think you would really love this. But this is a really pretty color. I'm glad I tried this one first. We're gonna build up um, the highlighter though. But like, oh, this is really pretty for like every day. 
so that it's not too like in your face highlight, you know? I'm gonna add a little to my forehead also, and obviously down the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this underneath my eyebrow, Cupid's bow, and on my chin. I do also have this Smashbox. This is a Spotlight palette in pearl. I think this was the collab with Casey Holmes, but it doesn't say anything about her on it, so I don't know. I was always confused. This is the lighter version of it. They do have a darker version also, but I just never picked it up, and now I can't find it anymore. I think I'm going to go in with the middle color, which is in Crank It Up Pearl. I just spit all over. Um, so I'm going to go in with this middle one and see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now that is how you get an intense highlight. So that definitely gave us the more intensity. Building that up and just lightly on my forehead. I don't want my forehead to be too crazy, but I'm going to take this down my nose you now. I'm going to go in with gold eyeshadow, so I'm not going to put this one under my brow. I'm just going to put this one down the middle of my face. It's not very glowy, especially right here. It looks like I'm sweating, but I'm not. <laughs> I have two different Lorac blushes to try. I don't know which one I want to use. This one is kind of shimmery, and I'm going in with a gold shimmery shadow, so I don't know if I want to use this one. So I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Powder Cheek Stain in the color Ruby Rouge. It's just a really pretty red color. I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk brush that I always use for my blush. Oh! I think this is gonna be like intense, so. Oh my gosh. So try to go light handed with this. Oh, okay. Very pretty. Oh, that is a beautiful rosy glow. Look at that side compared to this one. That's beautiful. And lately with my blush, too, I've actually been taking a little bit and putting it on my nose very, very, very lightly putting a little bit on the center of my face as well, just to kind of keep the color unison, I guess. I don't know why I think it's been cool to do that lately, but <laughs> it's been working for my life. I did kind of add a little bit of my bronzer color to my eyes as well, so I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of color for an eyeshadow just because I want this video to mainly be about the skin and just like a more natural look. Typically with my TJ Maxx and Marshalls look, I like to focus more on like either skin or an eyeshadow look, if that makes sense, just so that the videos aren't forever long. So I'm gonna do really, really simple eye today. This is just the Burberry eyeshadow. Eye color cream, it's a buildable eyeshadow in the color sheer gold. It's beautifulness. I'm gonna go in with my finger, I guess, and just kind of pat this on my lid and see how this looks. Um, it's very glittery. I have an eyelash on my cheek right now. This would look really, really nice, especially though built up on top of like a gold shadow, but it's defined by itself also. But I'm trying to focus this more now on my lid. I did put a little bit obviously into the crease, but I just really want to build this up on my eyelid. Oh, so pretty. And it's almost like the same texture as like if you have the ColourPop Super Shock whatever shadows. It's kind of the same texture as that. And before I finish up my eyes, I'm going to set all of my face because basically we're almost done. The Glam Glow Setting Spray. This is just their Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I found TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I haven't been able to find any more scents and I'm really sad about it because I really want more. This was only like $8, so. Whoa, why do I feel like I need to be super close though to spray it? It's like such a fine mist. It smells good, it feels so good and like cooling on the face. It's like such a different type of spray. It's so weird. I probably did not need that much. <laughs> now I'm gonna just add some falsies, some false lashes, but first I'm gonna curl my own lashes so that they blend easier together. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Lily Lashes. This is from the collection with Sephora. These are in the style Havana. So I'm just going to apply these and then I will be right back because I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> Honestly, it was so difficult to get these lashes on. This one doesn't even look the best on right now. I had to like bend them, you know, before I applied them. They look so pretty though, but like this one has such a big 
gap. It was just hard to get them on. It was difficult. To try to blend them together a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Sigma Sinuosity Lash. So this was sent to me, so I didn't get this from the store, uh, but it's not sponsored or anything. See how this goes. I like how the wand is like kind of curved. You can kind of see it. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of blend these together a little bit better these lashes too it had such a thick clear band that I feel like you should really put black liner on top of them I'm not sure if you can see that that when I close my eyes the clear band but it just has such a thick clear band on there I'm just like why and I'm gonna add mascara to my lower lash line also oh and especially like the curve of this mascara because it just like hugs the shape of your lash line that's so cool <gasps> really so for the lips, I'm first gonna line my lips with this MAC pencil. Obviously I got this from that set from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Pro Longwear Lip Pencil, this one's in the color Posy Perfect. So I'm just gonna all the way line my lips. Just kind of overdraw it as well. I should've actually taken some of this foundation off my lips first. I didn't really notice just how much foundation I had all over my lips, sorry. I try to fill this in a little bit too with this color. For lipstick, another Lorac product. I'm gonna go in with the Lorac. This is a really pretty pink one. This is in the color Girl Next Door. Oh, this is their highly pigmented cream lipstick in the color Girl Next Door. So I'm just gonna go in this really pretty bright pink. It's kind of looking, I think it's just my lips. I should have actually like um, exfoliated my lips first because they're kind of dry. It's just a really, really thick lipstick. This, I think it's a little too bright of a pink for this look, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna take this lip, um, this lipstick queen uh, lipstick. This was in the color Queen Bee. This one's supposed to give you like a nice, like, um, like golden hue over your lipstick, and then it does have a little bit of a golden glitter to it. But usually when I try to apply this, it doesn't work. So usually the color of the lipstick that you have on just gets on this, and none of this actually applies to your lips. So, which is what it's doing now. But when I like swatch it, you can see the gold, but nothing comes off on your lips. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work. That is the finished look. I actually really like everything that I used. I think I could have gone with a little bit of a darker pink for my lips and then it would have looked a little bit more put together flawless. Everything that I used, I do really like. The lashes were super hard to apply just because the band is so thick that it was just like not like bendable. I don't know how to explain it, but they were really hard to apply, so that's kind of annoying, but they look super pretty. This one is also coming off in the corner right now, currently. I love the way everything turned out. The foundation, I think I saved it. So let me know your guys' thoughts for this makeup look down in the comments below. Let me know if you found any of these products or if you're still on the hunt for any of these. You guys know I love hearing from you. Also, like I've mentioned before, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're alerted when I post every single one of my videos so that you guys don't miss out on anything. And also when I announce giveaways, you guys don't miss out because there are giveaways coming up and they're going to be totally random. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Muchísimas gracias and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.